Hollywood is so dumb. Mm. Bad. <laughs>
I I don't have the, the, the YouTube subscription to make sure I don't have ads. Anyway, the ads that are going on right now are just hot people working out and telling you how to lose weight. Um, what they're probably not telling you is that if you really want to lose weight, just stop eating so much. There it is. That's how you lose weight. And exercise, sure, but just stop eating so much. Make it smaller. That's it, if you wanted to know how to lose weight. You don't have to be weirdly ripped like this guy. Uh, it's it, you're, you're fine. If you want to lose weight, stop eating. Okay, here we go back about that great and so then steve and diana obviously they get intimate because you know they love each other they do that using a stranger's body that's got that's got to be crossing a line that's not okay <laughs> well, we're gonna have them do it anyway and i find it strange that you immediately got back on my back about that i mean it's actually a really easy fix just have steve trevor show up as himself no ah. so then that max lord guy makes himself super rich and he goes to egypt to take some guy's oil and make himself even richer okay so steve and diana they gotta get over there you know how are they gonna do that well the thing is they can't can't just take a commercial flight because Steve doesn't have a passport. Well, I mean, the guy he's possessing probably has one. Ew, well, they don't check for that. <laughs> they get to the Smithsonian and steal one of the jets from over there. They have operational jets at the museum? They do, yeah. Fully fueled jets just lying around, so they take one of those because Steve is a pilot. Right, okay, he was a pilot in World War One. These are, that, that, those are different planes. Well, I mean, a plane is a plane. That's, I mean, okay, yeah, that sentence is not technically wrong. So there you go. <laughs> no, but, okay, but. Sir, a plane is a plane. Are you implying that a plane's not a plane? because a plane is a plane. Not, I mean, that's just such a vague general statement. A plane is a plane. Okay. So then they're being chased because of the jet theft, and so Wonder Woman goes ahead and makes it invisible, and that's how she gets her invisible jet. What? How? Well, it turns out that's a thing she can do, so she does the thing that she can do. Wow, well, thank God she has that ability. We never once mentioned a reference. Yeah, it works out great. So they go to Egypt, and they have a big chase scene with Max Lord. Oh, very exciting. But he freaking gets away, and he goes around causing a bunch more chaos. Then he goes to see the President of the United States states. What for? Well, he gets the president to wish for more nukes, and then he sees this technology just lying around in the Oval Office, and it's exactly what he needs. What do you mean? Well, it's this device that lets him take over everybody's screen around the world, so technically, through, like, satellite waves, he is, you know, he's touching them. How? Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, okay, I won't. So then there's gonna be this fight in the White House, and Barbara, she's turning evil, so she gets in on that, too. Okay. And Steve manages to grab Max Lord. Oh, and so he wishes for everything to go back to normal? Oh, yeah, no, that would've been smart. Instead, he pushes him around to a bit. Yeah, also a decent strategy. Yeah, so then Max Lord escapes and he heads off to the satellite island to do his broadcast. Wow, wow, wow. wow. And Steve and Diana find out that everybody needs to renounce their wishes <laughs> or else civilization's gonna end. So they have this big emotional goodbye. Oh, very sad. Very sad. But then she starts to fly and lasso some lightning bolts. So that's pretty cool. That's not, that's not bad. Oh, sure. Yeah, that may as well happen. So then Diana's gonna have to fight Barbara, who, by the way, is a cat now. What? Yeah, she's a cat now. <laughs> she's part cheetah. What are you talking about? Well, see, Max Lord was like, hey, anything else you you want and she's like yes actually i would like to be an apex predator please oh so she could have just as easily been turned into a killer whale yeah i guess there was a chance she could have turned into a you know orca whale but that would have made for a less interesting fight scene oh i wholeheartedly disagree anyway so then we're gonna have a barely visible fight scene and barbara's gonna get electrocuted oh so she dies well no she gets a little sleepy which is what happens when cats get electrocuted that's not uh, no i don't think that's accurate well that's what my dad told me when my childhood cat chewed through his extension cord I, that your cat died i think no sir he went to sleep then he went to live on a farm, and I never saw him again. I mean, okay, so what happens next? Oh, well, Max is granting wishes to everybody in the world through their screens. Most of the world doesn't speak English. Well, okay, yeah, I'll keep that in mind for trivia night, I guess. That's interesting. Anyway, it's going to be complete chaos. Oh, it is? Yep, people are killing each other with wishes. One guy gets a farm outside his apartment. People can wish for anything. Really? Yeah, it's going to be nuts. Statistically speaking, wouldn't at least one person wish for the guy that just showed up on their TV to die or, or for the world to end? Uh, wouldn't at least one person wish for world peace? What happens with that paradox? Well, I mean, that's kind of, that's like a one in a million kind of wish, right? There are billions of people in the world. Oh, you're just full of fun trivia tonight. So anyway, Diana has to lasso <laughs> this guy, but her lasso can't get through this mysterious wind around him. Oh, wow. It's going to be tough for her to defeat him if she can't reach him. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah. See, she gets her lasso around his ankle, and then she can talk to everybody through him. I thought she couldn't get through with that thing. Oh, yeah? No, she couldn't. But then... She could, she, but how? <laughs> Unclear. Well, okay then. So then she tells everybody to renounce their wishes because nothing right. good comes from lying. And everybody does it. Everybody does it, including Max Lord, who suddenly cares about his son that he's been actively ignoring the whole movie. And so what about, like, what if someone with a terminal illness wished to be cured? Oh, uh, well, uh, they, would have, they would have to renounce that because that's, that's not the truth. 
Uh, what if a blind person wished to be able to see? That's uh, the, that's that's a shortcut uh, to being able to see. So that's that's wrong. What if somebody wished to be able to feed their starving child? Yeah. Okay. This moment only works if everybody wishes for something selfish or violent. So we're gonna have to pretend like that's the case. Okay. Uh, pretending is tight. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Thank God. So then Max Lord is gonna go reunite with his son, who just kind of comes running out of the woods for no reason. <laughs> How did Max Lord get back <laughs> from the island if he renounced all his wishes? Unclear. And what happens with Barbara? Oh, well, she's not a cat anymore, and she's she's chilling. I imagine. Okay. Anyway, then Diana's gonna have a little flirty moment with the guy who Steve was controlling. It's gonna be very sweet. Sweet. He's already seen that guy naked. Yeah, just a real sweet moment. It's gonna be Christmas, too. Yeah, I don't know if it being Christmas makes it better. And then she looks at a balloon, and we're all done. So what do you think? I mean, I feel like using a strange man's body is just so deeply strange and raises so many messed up questions. Right, right, right. Well, maybe nobody will think of how <laughs> weird it is. Well, yeah, I guess that is a possibility. Okay, let's do it. Uh, okay, wait, wait, we need to... Hey guys, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. I hope you wow, liked it. If you did, that. you know, press the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment and all the YouTube standard things. Also, let me know if you have ideas for other movies I should do pitches for. As always, check back soon for a new video. Bye-bye. Wow, okay, subscribe there, click there on the like. Freaking fantastic. I mean, he, he, he covers all the things. So here's the thing, um, what I like about Ryan George. If you can, go over to Ryan George's channel and subscribe to his channel because I know Screen Rant is the you know producer I guess of those videos, but uh, you know he he writes them and and creates them and originated it. So I feel like he needs to get as much love as possible. That's it's just so funny. Hollywood is so dumb, so super dumb. It feels I feel like I watch movies and there's so many holes and so many problems in them. It's like they really don't even care. It, they're they're not trying very hard. They're trying, just not hard. I felt like when I was growing up as a kid that the world would be kind of like NASA, like things were done with with metrics and data and analytics and sure there are those things, but people aren't taking the time to look at them, correct things, edit things, make sure that things are, are good. They just put it out. It's in a rush to just put it all out. Um, so that's a bit of a problem. We need we need some people taking care of uh, the actual quality of things, and that's why I think Ryan George has got such a good thing going on. Um, so subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to my channel. What? I don't know if that's what you do professionally. If you're a professional subscriber, you're probably not. Uh, but if, if you can, subscribe yeah. to my channel. Subscribe to his channel. That'd be great. Uh, in the comments section, um, if you write in the comments section, uh, Wakadu, that's Wakadu, in the comments section, one more time, Wakadu, that's the secret passcode. If you're the first person to write that, I will shout you out in tomorrow's episode. Um, wow, we're back with a, with a vengeance um, and full of vigar and hospitality. Uh, thank you for coming to my channel, checking me out. Uh, I'm going to be hosting the Oscars by 2030, so you might as well jump into this channel now. Say you were here when I when I was just on my up and up. You know what I mean. You know what I'm. You know what I mean. Um, thank you. Have a great, happy day and a new year and all the things that are going on in your life. This could be five years from now, but it's always going to be a new year. So, hope we're all still alive. Uh, and uh, when you feel like life isn't going to get any better, just know it always gets better. Stay good. Ben Force, blast off. Let's go. <laughs>